In tonight's episode of Rallying Around Mexico, the stig is rather slow. Ramil rams into a barrier. And I fail to finish a race. Hello YouTube, hello viewers. This is Big Head Django jumping into the first race of the weekly trial. Now immediately right off the start line I am hit by a sense of deja vu. It's almost as if we did this race two weeks ago in similar cars. I try and find my way through this traffic of cars. I go right in order to avoid the driver tower. I end up going too wide, but thankfully there's a wall there. Perfect chance for me to show my wall riding skills. Tap the brake at this checkpoint and then you want to try and hold the inside line while braking hard. I use the AI to get through that corner a bit more smoothly. Up ahead you can see a teammate fighting with the AI, just giving their best and then still somehow losing position. Break hard at this corner. Again, pull the inside line because your teammates are going to ram you from behind. Finally onto the dirt section and here I thought Void Pirate was going to ram me so I prepared to defend against the ramming but that's not what they did. Through the first couple of dirt checkpoints, tap the brake here to go through this corner a lot more smoothly. Now we head towards the downhill section, gaining a lot of speed here. Managed to pass the AI but need to immediately brake hard in order to not mess up this corner. Go through that fairly well. Now at this point I'm in the lead but I notice my team's not doing too well. So I decide to slow down the AI instead of continuing to race. Which as it turns out was a good idea. So this section is also going to be fast but eventually you come up to this uphill portion where you need to brake around the checkpoint in order to not go ramming into the wall then break hard for this corner, teammates obviously failing to do so. Down the next road section, break a little bit here and then for the next few turns and corners you can just completely go full throttle. So I see another teammate behind me, I break to let them pass but I don't know what happened there. The entire road was wide open but I still end up getting rammed from behind. That's fine, team is in the lead. Coming up to the next hard right hander, brake hard, obviously Ramil failing to do so, goes into the barrier, back again onto the dirt, try and drift through this corner, pass straight, for the next corner just like two weeks ago, go over the bushes and brake hard, Ramil obviously again failing to do so, it seems that Ramil has completely given up on braking around this point in the race. They no longer care about using brakes. Back down this straight. Brake as you reach the river, just like you did two weeks ago. Of course, Ramil didn't do it then. They sure as hell do not care about it now. And that cost them second place. First race is fairly easy. The AI isn't exactly challenging in B-Class. Team did okay. Not too bad, I suppose. So let's move on to the second race. The Stig having a slow start there. Very unlike the Stig, to be honest. Two teammates. I don't know what they were doing, but I do know that Balink 660 misses that checkpoint and proceeds to quit the game. First corner coming up, break hard, hold the inside line as always. The first corner of every trial is the most nerve wracking and you do not want to be getting rammed. You do not want to go slamming into the barriers. So down the dirt road. This is the only tricky corner in this race. You just need to tap the brake a little bit and you'll get through it fairly cleanly. In the lead now. Through this corner, the checkpoint is going to lie straight ahead, so as long as you are aware of that, you don't need to follow the dirt road. Onto the road, just go full throttle through this whole thing. The cars have more than enough grip. You're only going to go a little wide on this corner, but the rest are fine. Don't need to break or feather the throttle unless absolutely required. 
Coming up to this next checkpoint, hold the inside line and try and go as close to the inside flag as you can. That'll help you stay on the dirt road and not go too wide. So full throttle through the dirt and mortar sections. Really nothing technical about this track. Feather the throttle to this corner like I absolutely did not because Again, it's not needed unless you're coming in too fast. Something I do want to talk about is Autumn Aaron probably missing a checkpoint dropping in the leaderboard and then immediately quitting. There was no need, Autumn Aaron. I mean, we had enough points as a team in order to get that win. You did not have to quit. And I think the final corner is the only one that can be a bit risky if you come in too fast and go too wide. But stay on the inside line, hold that line and you'll be fine. Maybe you need to feather the throttle. And that's it, race 2 done. Two teammates quit. So now for the third race back into the 2004 Subaru. And there is something I forgot to mention. Both of these cars that I've shown in this video are pretty much the best cars you want to be using for this car and both have very good acceleration, very easy to control and handle. So for the first part of this race you want to stay on the right hand side. So at this point my I'm distracted by my own teammates and my teammates are distracted by each other and <laughs> you can see the result of that. All of us completely <laughs> missing the braking line there. There's, there's something very important in the trials. You want to focus on the driving line, okay? If you only use the braking line, then look for the braking line. Do not look at other cars. Use your peripheral vision to track other cars, but focus on the line that you're taking. If you do that, you'll never mess up any corners. Very easily catching up to the lead AI here. Like I said, B-Class AI is not very challenging. My teammates still goofing around. <laughs> Both of them passed me. And very start of the race, 30% done and we already have the lead. So I am gonna let these guys go and I'll keep slowing down the AI. Honestly, if you don't want to slow down the AI, it's still a fairly straightforward track. Only a couple of really challenging corners. Also something to keep in mind as you slow down the AI is to not slow yourself down too much. Okay, like in this case, one of the driver does tries to take William William we can actually use names now readable easy names so William tries to overtake me and he manages to do that because I did slow down a little too much but on this next corner I managed to overtake William again and that too very cleanly absolutely nothing wrong with overtaking another car like that in any race of course Katia making a play for it, put back into place. Of course, if this is your first time watching me fool around with the air like this, and it's very easy to do. You only need to hold the inside line on every single corner, always the inside line, and then as you exit the corner, you simply go wide. Only look back when you are going down a straight, because otherwise it can be quite risky. You might slam into something. Now, something that I wanted to do for a very long time is to DNF, that means not finishing the race with all the AI behind me. Now, this is something that only the greatest of drivers can achieve. To DNF in a trial race with all of the AI behind you takes immense amount of skill. And as the race and timer starts, I'm really really excited right now because we still have 10% of the race to go which is huge and there's only about 20 seconds left which is very much doable. So really really excited slowing down the air and then in my excitement I let two cars slip me by, I decided to chase after them but then I immediately realized that what the hell am I doing, I still have to DNF. So this, I, 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 I just break right before the finish line an inch before the finish line. Unfortunately, I couldn't do what I had set out to do. I did manage to DNF, but not the way I wanted to. Just feeling really stupid right now. Even though on the outside I'm dancing and look like I'm enjoying myself, on the inside I am in utter pain at my failed attempt. So obviously not the exceptionally skilled player I thought I was. There you have it folks. That is how you win all three trial races. If you found this video useful, 
or even interesting drop a like subscribe to the channel for more Forza Horizon 5 content this is your average skilled host Big Head Django and perhaps next week I can fail the correct way so until then stay safe have fun see you next week